Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Taylor. If you are new, don't forget to like and subscribe. Today I'm going to be taking you all through a realistic work from home day in my life. Woke up, hit snooze twice, and got out of bed and immediately went for a walk. That's how I've been trying to start my mornings is by listening to Audible and going for a walk depending on whether Crix works from home or not. It depends on how long of a walk I usually go on just because I'll then have to get Gunner Man at the end of it. But I'm back, finished three miles. I'm about to wash my face, fix some breakfast before my first meeting. I'll outline my schedule here on the side. It is and Wednesdays typically are my busier days. So strap in and let's get the day going. I just finished up my team meeting. My team meeting typically kicks off at 8 a.m. every morning. This morning it didn't take too long. Finishing up my breakfast. I made my to-do list or made tweaks to my to-do list. I try and plan out my work days the night before um, or afternoons before just so that I go into the day already having a concept of what I have to do. And so just made a few tweaks to it in my Google Calendar and then I write it on paper. I'm kind of weird. I have it in two places just so that I can literally highlight off um, as I go through things and I put a few more names of people that I need to follow up with. So yeah, how I typically organize my day is in blocks and so it, almost every hour has something scheduled. Whew. I will go through and have different blocks of time. So say I have a meeting at 8 a.m. Typically goes between 15 and 30 minutes. And then I have another block of time where I check my email and my LinkedIn. Because I'm a recruiter, I am constantly in LinkedIn. That should be no surprise if you are familiar at all with the industry. It looks very, very busy, but that's just so that I can focus my time and energy on specific things during specific times. It keeps me focused and it keeps me on task. And it's been something that's been very helpful for me as I've been working from home, especially. Typically when I was in the office, I didn't necessarily do hour blocks. I should have, but I didn't. I generally just had a list of things that I knew I needed to do each day and I would just kind of get to them as I got to them. And this is really proven to work for me. Might not work for you, but for right now, this is what's getting me through the day. I am going through my LinkedIn and my email. I was checking my email until like six or seven last night. So I don't have a ton to catch up on this morning and I'll go through my LinkedIn and then I'm going to set up and create an agenda for my committee meeting. I do lead a committee with it in my company, which is really exciting. It's been a really cool opportunity, but we have a meeting a little bit later today and I just wanna make sure that I have everything prepared out for that. Do you guys ever have to like jump up and down to get your watch to recognize that you <laughs> I get like the notification every hour and I'm like, I've been walking around, but I guess it just hasn't recognized it. Yes. All right, you guys, if I can make it through this call without Gunner going off the rails, we will be in business. Sorry, this is like super boring. <laughs> All right, you guys, this morning has been pretty productive. Hasn't really been a lot to show. Uh, I had my two calls with candidates and then I've sent out a lot of emails. I've done some other outbound activity and uh, it's lunchtime already. It's kind of crazy with a lot going on. The day goes by pretty fast. I'm about to do bar, get a quick shower, make lunch, and then get ready for my team call that'll be at 
1.30. So a lot to do in an hour, but let's go get to it. Someone is having just a rough morning. You guys, he does this all on his own. The pillows were like neatly stacked there and there and he's just made himself right at home. Day hey. I don't even think I'm gonna go downstairs to do this just because I don't wanna, <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Wait. <laughs> Gunny. <laughs> I don't want to mess up his sleep schedule, of course. So I'm just going to do my bar here. Again, like I said earlier, Gunner relates downstairs to being his play space. And if I work out in the living room, he generally doesn't bother me. But if we're downstairs, it's, it's game over. So. Alrighty, so we're doing cardio bar. Alrighty, it's time to hop in the shower. It is 12.40 and hop in the shower, throw some clothes on, go downstairs, make lunch, and get back to work. Yum. So now it is 1.10, so I'm about five minutes off. But I will make it up in other parts of my day. So I'm gonna sit here and eat this delicious salad, you guys. It is so, so simple to make. It literally took less than five minutes, like I told you guys since we already had shrimp grilled that Chris made last night. And then all I've been using for dressings, which I love, is um, like a half of a cap of olive oil, a little bit of red wine vinegar, and then a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And add some lemon juice, some fresh squeezed lemon juice, and some salt and pepper. Um, the shrimp are pretty well seasoned with like salt and pepper and spices, so I didn't add any additional salt and pepper, but I might need some to taste. And then I have my fruit. Mm. Fresh peaches are so good. I have a meeting at 1.30, meeting at two, and then a meeting at three. Let's get to it. So just finished up my committee meeting, thought that it was super productive. And I just really enjoy getting to spend an hour with my teammates, especially now that I, you don't really get that social interaction with your whole organization, but being a part of a committee, 
it pulls in different people from different parts of the org and it makes my day getting to speak with them. So I am just going to be finishing up a few things. I have about an hour, hour and a half left of work. So Gunner has graciously left me alone. <laughs> It sounds so horrible, but the afternoons with him can just get to be so finicky with FedEx and UPS and, oh my gosh, DHL. I mean, you name it, this dog has like a sixth sense for them. And trucks will drive by, no problem. Vehicles, no problem. Dogs and other people walking by, no problem. There's just something about the sound of a very large engine that just gets him revved. Um, typically between like, oh my gosh, there's the deer. I have to show you guys. We have deer in our backyard, but Gunner hasn't seen him. So I don't want him to get startled, but um, I don't know why I'm whispering, but oh, oh my gosh, you guys, there's a fawn. Oh, you guys have to look. Okay, you guys, our door, our like window is kind of blurry, but look. Do you guys see the baby? Oh my goodness. This is one of the things that I love most about our backyard. Oh my gosh. You didn't see him yet because you haven't started barking. And I'm very proud of you because you would scare them away. I am such an animal and a nature person. A lot of people might not know that about me, but I am. And oh, it's such a baby. Oh, that's just so cute. And one of the reasons why Chris and I like don't want to give up this townhouse because we literally live five minutes outside of downtown Raleigh, but I guess maybe not this townhouse, but one of the things about Raleigh that's great is that you can literally be five minutes outside of the city and feel like, or not even outside of the city, we're in the city right now, but you can literally be five minutes outside of downtown and have deer walking in your backyard. Okay, so I have my shake um, and Gunny is now up and we're just finishing out the end of the day. I have a few more tasks I need to get to. All right, so it's gonna be a little lopsided. Holy-ish, you guys, my steering wheel is hot. Oh God. It is hundred and one, my car is a hundred and one degrees right now. This is why I put on jeans. So I am running to Target to pick up a few things. <clears throat> Literally just like simple stuff like dry shampoo. So by this point I've shown you guys upstairs my 11 by 16 poster from Walmart. And I just got in our 11 by 14 prints. I'm super happy with the way that they turned out. We're still waiting on the eight by tens and five by sevens that I printed, but wanted to show you guys how they turned out. So this is the first one and sorry for the glare. I already put it in the frame. I just really couldn't help myself, but the quality is super, super good. I look really pale from doing that, but this is one that is not in a frame yet. I'm just trying to flatten it out and with my external hard drive and my control, but they look so good. I just love those pictures in general of Chris and I, but super happy. And I also just bought this frame. I also bought these two five by sevens because we have nothing on our dresser right now. And so I feel like the gold and then this light wood contrast will go good together and two it'll go well with the picture frames that I already have up on the floating shelf. This is another frame that I got and this will go on the floating shelf. 
I feel like, so it says anything from like smaller than an 11 by 15. I feel like an eight by 10 would look good. I feel like that's what this might be. I'm not 100% sure, but I might put an eight by 10 in there. These are some that I got from Home Goods this weekend. So this is a five by seven. This is a nine by 10. And I love the different blues because obviously that's my favorite color and it goes with our room. And then I got this, which I thought will be a cool finish too, just a contrast with the different golds and chrome metallics that we have. I actually might go downstairs and check out what pictures we do have. I'm a little eager to put stuff in there. <laughs> okay, figured out I have like no five by sevens, but I think I'm gonna put this picture of my dad and I in here. I love it so much. And the photographer that took this at my friend Sarah's wedding is actually going to be photographing Chris and I's wedding and I'm so, so excited. Can you come here and tell me if you like this? You like that? Yeah, I do. I can't really read what's in there. Well, I can from there, but not from here. Not from here. What do you mean? You just can't see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I mm -hmm. think I like that. Um, like fourth outfit change of the day. Uh, it was just so hot. Gunny, I know. I had to hold him back because I had a friend drop off some salsa. He's about to start barking out the door. I am about to edit my vlog after I make my dinner and before I talk to my friend Caroline. How are you? All right, so it's my first time cooking turnips. I'm gonna make turnip fries. Had no idea that it was solid on the inside like potato, but that's really cool. Say hi. <laughs> I'm eating my turkey chili. Yeah, that's good. Y'all, I'm so excited for these turnip fries. I think I put a little too much seasoning on them. They look a little bit like uh, Bojangles fries. Um, if you're from the South, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, they're loaded with some paprika, but I think they're gonna be good. Okay. The ranch is not fully. Oh my God. Whoops. Okay, the ranch is, it is a Greek yogurt mix. Y'all. Taste test without the ranch. Okay, it's definitely not a potato, but you could have fooled me. Like the consistency is pretty much there. I'm gonna try it within the ranch because ranch makes everything better. This is gonna be my new, my new go-to thing. Right, all right, guys. I still have 39 days. It's insane. 